Hello, I'm Stanley Prannan, editor of Aikido Journal. Perhaps some of you have had a chance to visit our website at aikidojournal.com. There you'll find uh, literally thousands of pages of information about the art. Uh, we have a, uh, hundreds and hundreds of articles, uh, the Encyclopedia of Aikido, uh, daily blogs, uh, school listings, events, etc. And if you take a look at that website, there's many, many free materials. You'll be able to explore all areas of the art. Today, what I would like to talk to you about is one of our newest products. This is a book entitled Aikido Pioneers Pre-War Era. What this book consists of are interviews with 20 of the early students of Aikido founder Morihei Ueshiba. These were interviews that I conducted in Japan for the most part uh, from the period of 1973 through about 2003, so that makes about 30 years. Now in it you'll find many of the most famous names in Aikido. For example, there's the founder's son, Kishomaru Ueshiba. Then there's Koichi Tohei, the man who founded Shinshin Toitsu Aikido, which is commonly referred to as Ki Aikido. Then there's the founder of Yoshinkan Aikido, a man named uh, Gozo Shioda. There's Kenji Tomiki and uh, Minoru Mochizuki, both of whom founded important styles of the art. In addition, there are other people who are lesser known, but who play significant roles in the uh, creation of Aikido. One person of particular interest is the founder's son, a man named Noriaki Inoue, who's almost unknown in the Aikido world, but he played a very important role in the early years and uh, assisted the founder in many uh, areas, both uh, teaching and traveling, and uh, he also knew many of the famous uh, figures and uh, was alongside of his uncle uh, over a period of more than 20 years. So he's really an important person, and you'll get to know him through the pages of this book. You'll also uh, find a, a great deal of information about the founder's life from his boyhood all the way through 1942, by which time World War II was having a, a terrible effect on Japan. In fact, uh, Morihei was forced to leave uh, Tokyo and uh, take refuge in his country home up in Iwama. You'll also find uh, mention in this book uh, on numerous occasions the uh, disseminator of Daitoryu Aiki Jujutsu, a man named Sokaku Takeda. Now this man had a tremendous technical influence on uh, modern Aikido and most of the techniques of uh, from this uh, classical jiu-jitsu form uh, form the roots of modern Aikido techniques. Then there's also the famous religious figure Onisaburo Deguchi from the Omoto sect. This man's religious views and his philosophical perspectives uh, impacted uh, Morihei's thinking and um, much of the philosophy of uh, Aikido can be traced back to the Omoto religion. I would recommend this book for any serious Aikido ka or an instructor of the art. You can think of it as sort of the genealogy of Aikido. In the way that one might explore the roots of one's family, you'll be able to explore the roots of the art in great de uh, depth. That I can promise you. The book totals uh, 360 pages, so it's very extensive. Now today I w appreciate very much your listening and I have a free gift for you. If you look uh, below here, you'll find a link, actually two links, the first of which is a 90-page PDF file which contains many, many pages from the book. You'll be able to uh, take a look at uh, the sort of uh, content. You'll see many of the photographs that are included in the book, and you'll be able to get a good idea of what you'll find in the pages. The other link is uh, will take you to the Aikido Journal store, where hopefully you'll uh, look at more information about Aikido Pioneer's pre-war era and consider purchasing a copy for your home library. Well, that's about it. I thank you very much for joining uh, me here today, and I hope you'll take a look at uh, Aikido Pioneer's pre-war era. 
We'll see you again next time. Thank you.